So today we're going to talk about uh, analyzing quadratics in a few different ways. Okay, and you'll see what I mean by that in a second. So we talked about um, what equations might look like. And this is kind of what we call the base quadratic equation. Okay, there's just a relationship between x and y. And it tells us that y is equal to x squared. So that means we square a number x and we get our answer y. Okay. So, from grade 9, you should remember working with tables of values, right, and working with first differences, okay? Well, today what we're going to do is we're going to work with second differences, okay? So, first thing we want to do is we want to figure out all our y values, okay? Well, we stated that our relationship is y equals x squared, so the y is going to be whatever the x is squared. So, here, we're going to have negative 2 squared, Okay, so negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1, so 1. 0 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? So first of all, you should notice that we see something that goes down to 0 and then back up. Okay? So that's really what we saw in the graph that we were talking about the other day. Um... So the next thing we looked at with linear relationships was we looked at first differences. And we realized that with linear relationships, first differences were always the same. That was last year. Okay, so now let's look at the first differences here. So the difference from 4 to 1 is negative 3, right? 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 0 minus 1, that first difference is negative 1. 1 minus 0, that first difference is 1. 4 minus 1, that first difference is 3. So you see now that the first differences aren't all the same. Okay? So that tells us that this relationship right here is not linear. Okay? So you should have learned last year that if the first differences are the same, we get a relationship that's linear. Okay? So that's not happening. But let's look at what happens with the second differences. So the difference from negative 3 to negative 1 is negative 1 minus negative 3, which is 2. 1 minus negative 1 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. Well, the second differences all look like they're the same. Okay? So that leads us to our conclusion. So first, I want you to remember that linear relationships have equal first differences. Okay? So things that go up in a straight line. Okay? Today, we see that quadratic relationships have equal second differences. Okay? So if a table of values has all equal second differences, we can see that the relationship is quadratic. Okay? So that's the first thing. Now, what do we do with those quadratic relationships? Well, let's say that a ball is thrown um, and it follows a path shown on the graph here. So we throw the ball, okay, and it will follow that path, okay? X represents the time in seconds, so this is X is zero, so this is when the ball is thrown, right there, okay? So that's when the graph starts. Um, and F, which is our dependent variable, or the graph, right, represents the height of the ball, okay? So the first question that we want to talk about is how long is the ball in the air? Well, how long is it in the air is really a time question, right? So we want to figure out how long is the ball in the air. So we know that we're dealing with time. That's on our x-axis. Okay, we said that this is time. And how long is it in the air? Well, when does it hit the ground? Well, if the graph represents the height of the ball, then it hits the ground when the graph hits zero, or the x-axis, right? So right there, that's how long the ball was in the ground, okay? So we can answer this with about 2.51 seconds, okay? Now the next question, how high does the ball reach? So how high, that's dealing with height, so we want to talk about the y-coordinate. And how high does it go? Well, that's the highest point right there, okay? So that's right about there, okay? So we can see that that point right there, the x-coordinate is about 1.2, and the y-coordinate looks like it's about 8.4, okay? Well, how high does it reach? Well, that's that height right there, 
and that's about 8.4 meters. Right? And when does that happen? Well, that's the second part of that. It happens after 1.2 seconds. Okay? So we want to be able to deal with all these questions that deal with things that go up and come back down. And we can look at tables of values, or we can look at graphs to answer those questions. Okay? So that's all. See you guys in class.